वेलकम टू दादी मस क्लासेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू राइट अ लेटर लेटर राइटिंग इज वेरी इजी एंड द सेम फॉर्मेट इज यूज फॉर मोस्ट ऑफ द लेटर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू राइट अ फॉर्मल लेटर द क्वेश्चन इज बिफोर यू इन द क्वेश्चन यू विल सी दैट द इज ऑल्सो अ बॉक्स which states advertisement first i am reading the advertisement to you the advertisement states that applications are invited for the post of an english teacher in a reputed school of delhi the candidate must have at least 5 years experience of teaching the applicant must be fluent in spoken english interested candidates should apply to the principal hmk public school new delhi within 10 days with detailed resume now we come to the question the question says that you are ram or rajni whether you are male or female living at one rana pratap marg new delhi you come across the following advertisement in a national daily which advertisement the advertisement that we just heard you consider yourself suitable and eligible for the post write an application in response to the advertisement now you cannot change the name you have to write the name either ram or rajni and you have to write your address that is given in the letter you will never have to write your own real name nor your real address you will have to write the name and address given in the letter so now let us go and see how to write the letter just like in all letters you begin with your own name that is the name given in the letter and if i am a female i will write rajni and i will write the address that is already given in the letter one rana pratap mar new delhi then leave the line and write today's date and assuming today's date is march 26 2020 2022 20, 2030 whatever so i've put excels leave a line then you write the address of the recipient that is to whom you are sending the letter and it's given in the question you will see that the address of the recipient is given the principal hmk public school new delhi so i have written the same address over here okay the principal hmk public school new delhi now assuming most principals are madams i have written madam and then the subject subject is application for the post of english teacher earlier we used to first write the subject and then we used to write dear sir madam whatever but nowadays the pattern has changed so we write madam first and subject later in case you write it reverse your marks will not get cut so don't have tension about that you have to begin your letter and you are writing the letter why because you have seen the advertisement so in response to your advertisement in the telegraph any english newspaper dated i have written march 21st now be careful if you are writing the letter on march 26th the advertisement should be at least one or two or three days before you write the letter but don't make a huge gap because you have to apply within 10 days so dated 21st march 2020 or whatever excess i have put for the post of an english teacher when you are writing in the body don't forget to write an english teacher a an accountant or whatever a computer operator so you have to put in this an english teacher i offer my services for the same i would like to bring to your notice sorry i would like to bring to your notice that i fulfill all the required conditions mentioned in your advertisement so this will be common for all the letters that you will write 
for job applications. Please find enclosed my detailed resume and testimonials. That asked you to attach your resume and so you are attaching it. Leave a line. Looking forward to a positive response. Leave a line. Thanking you. Yours faithfully. Give your sig signature. Rajni. And enclosed. What have you enclosed? Your resume. Photocopies of your mark sheets. Photocopy of experience certificate. Now this letter can be useful for any kind of job applications. Resume is very, very simple. You simply have to give your own name, your father's name, address. Your name will be the same name as is given in the question paper. If your father's name is not given, think of a father's name matching and give it. Your address, don't change your address. Don't give your real address. Give the address in the question. Your contact number, do not give your real contact number. Give any contact number. Your educational qualification, you give your postgraduate from Delhi University, BA from DU. Don't give the whole list over here in a resume. You give the highest qualification. Experience, they had said minimum five years. So you've written six years as an English teacher. Your date of birth, now you can't count so much. So if it's 2020, then you can put 19 something excess. This is not a mathematical test. So age approximately, I have given 32 years because you've completed your postgraduate, you've done six years teaching experience. Marital status, I have written unmarried, you can write married also. Expected salary, I have written 20,000 per month. You can write anything else, 25,000, 30,000. Languages known, Hindi, English, you must give two references. I have given two references. And then at the bottom, you sign and you put the same date as you wrote at the beginning of the letter. So this is very, very simple and very easy to write. There's no problem. You can just go through it once or twice or thrice, writing a simple letter and which is called a covering letter and you resume and you are done. All the best to you.